Years ago, when I started making flights with Parrot Bebop drones, at a certain point I looked for an inhabited place to do some tests on long distance flights. Looking for a place not far from my place of residence on Google Maps, I found a place I later called No Man's Land. A place with only bushes, trees, deserted asphalt and sand roads. A place where many people deposit debris and all kinds of objects they don't need and garbage without any type of authorization. At the time I had seen on Google Maps in the area a set of structures a little strange. They looked like some kind of casemates. I never made a point of approaching these structures because I didn't want to attract anyone's attention if that place had someone. In this place I call no man's land there is also a large deposit. But later on I noticed that those structures were closer than I thought and there was a sandy road that passes right by these pillboxes. I saw through Google Street View that the area has a fence all around it but the image from Google Street View were already a few years old and could be out of date. The place could be either be guarded or simply be empty and abandoned. I was unable to obtain any information about this location. And as the sandy road passes right next to the structures, I decided to drive my car along that sandy road and see the place directly with my own eyes. Okay, let's explore. Everything seems calm and empty. Why these rounded structures? Will this be military? Why this shape of houses? Certainly rainwater will not be retained on these round roofs. And these smaller houses. This is a kind of a small village. Let's take a look inside this house. Hmm, empty. Airsoft Coyotes. Usually these places are used for airsoft and paintball games, among other strange things. This building is longer than the others around it. They all have chimneys.
rubble dumped here. see the inside whoa this gives the impression that there will be several bunks here here's the same thing a very wide door on this side maybe it could even fit a car and in the background, what will it have? Whoa, a huge fireplace. And it gives the impression that they have been making fire here regularly and not so long ago. Oh, very strange. warehouse why would they have made this hole in the wall garbage, firewood and broken things, lots of matrices and the large entrance next to what would perhaps be a gate to enter the enclosure. What will this warehouse or hangar be used for or what will it be called? Let's take a look to see if anyone or any animals are inside. Only garbage and construction debris. It has a first floor. A kind of attic. Let's see its interiors in detail. The ceiling is black, even thought the roof is curved. Rainwater must penetrate. And the humidity.
bathrooms. What is this? Jerry cans with something inside. Wall covered with tiles. Drink. Here again is the hole in the wall that we had seen from the outside. More wash basins in the abandoned. I always see so many bathrooms. This looks like a giant bathroom. But what was this big structure for? You can leave your comments in the comments of this video. For those who understand this matter, if it is military, I really think that it all had to do with military things. Here it even served to store my motor home. <laughs> what the hell is this? Bottles, many bottles. So many mattresses. Were they one for the bunks I thought existed? Or did they dump here from other sides? A store selling mattresses that went bankrupt. <laughs> Lots of bottles. Here we drank big. Let's explore the interior of this little house. It even had a small porch at the entrance. Let's see in detail what these houses look like inside. Hmm, basin. Do we enter the kitchen right away? Here's the location of the stove and the chimney entrance. Ah, the room. Spacious even. Floor covered in wooden parquet like in my house. A small corridor bathroom with a bathtub. It's not even small with a window and everything. One bedroom with built-in wardrobe. Uh, and a master bedroom with a large built-in wardrobe. And a view. A small family could live here in this house. This place could be reused. Was it used for war refugees or anything else? Why is it so abandoned? Whose will this be? Of the state for sure. This could be retrieved and used for a variety of purposes. It is in an area that has nothing and nobody but is not far from civilization and the nearest cities. It could also be used as a retreat, holidays, rest, etc. Another large warehouse. And this little house. This tower will be where the high voltage electricity cables were connected and where electricity was distributed throughout this small village. Let's see what this structure is. Hey, I saw something running. A mouse? A rabbit? Let's see it again. Ah, rabbit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's look at this structure in detail. It has a lower part. Is it a place to see under the vehicles? Hmm, I don't think so. It will have to be deeper. And then there's this little house right here with this recess in the floor and those little cement blocks. Was this a scale with supports on the cement blocks in the corners and in the middle? Perhaps a scale to weight vehicles. But let's see the second big warehouse. Ah, this one is more open and it has entrance in and exits in both sides. Old CRT TVs or what's left of them. A big tank or tanks. Again, more rubbish and garbage. High ceiling. What the hell is this and for what purpose will it be? A cover, another remnants of a CRT TV. What gutters are these? A bench and the tanks. The skylights are still intact. in the background, the big deposit I mentioned it. Two electricity poles falling at the entrance. Well, by the way, with so much space, I'm going to go with the drone inside.
What are the little houses for? Storage? Gas bottles? And that's it, and so was the exploration of this place. I hope you enjoyed. Once again I say to leave your comments, press like, subscribe to the channel if you don't already done, and press the bell so you can be informed of new videos that I will publish. Thank you for watching this video, until the next video and be well.